Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you're probably going to notice that I don't have my camera on this time. It's because I'm winding down for the night. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on to a trip to New York to go visit my girlfriend and to go, you know, hang out with her and go to a Janet Jackson concert, which I've never been to a concert in my life. You know, 42 years old and I've never been to a concert. So she wanted to take me to a Janet Jackson concert. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, this video is going to be relatively short. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of more like my final thoughts for what I've experienced in sort of Convalaria. And just kind of give you a more personable a uh, conversation as opposed to a conversation that is bombarding you with a lot of facts. Um, if you caught my last video, um, that one kind of talked about about 12 good key points about the game that um, I seem to have you know, come across and what I thought was very important for you guys to do, for you guys to learn um, before you play the game before the launch. Um, this video is mostly going to be a about my personal experience, um, how I personally feel. This is going to be a lot more of just, uh, you know, less about the facts and more about my opinions. And I want to start that off with just saying that I really do like this game. Um, I love the aspect of this game. I love the process of this game. Um, it's a very fun, very in-depth game i love the pixel art i've always been a fan of pixel art um i love the gameplay um i like every aspects of this um uh, i was like i had skeptic i i was skeptical a little bit at first because you know whenever we get these games that come out you know they seem good when they first start out playing and after a while um the games start just falling off or just you know just are bad um this goes with a lot of gacha games that have come out in the past like um uh what's it called octopath traveler that's it octopath traveler was a fun game um but as a gacha game it wasn't that great um final fantasy brave Vexvius, which is actually my first gacha game that's the one that got me into gacha games um and if anyone knows about my history, where I used to stream Final Fantasy Brave Vexus back with like Click and Howls, um, back with Shally, which, you know, rest in peace, Shally. Uh, you know, games like that, they kind of, you know, they were great in the beginning, but then they kind of f fell off in, in the later on. And I've gone through a lot of games like, you know, Dragalia Lost and Last Claudia and just a bunch of other games. And I never really stuck through with a lot of them. Um, right now, like the current games I've been playing is Honkai Star Rail and Wuthering Waves. And those two are fantastic. They're amazing games. Um... I have high hopes for this particular game. I want this game to succeed. I want this game to flourish because I believe that this game has promise. I believe this game has just overall just an old, just just a lot of purpose. Um, I really love the fact that this game is um, the turn-based tactical, it's, you know, it is niche, you know, 100% is very niche, um, but it's okay that it's niche because the game gives you just fantastic gameplay. Um, you can do a lot in it. You can, you, you can do a lot. You can get a lot done. Um, I love, I like the gotcha system. Um, I was listening to a video uh, by... Uh, What's his name again? Um, Clint Wolf. If you guys don't know who Clint Wolf is, he is a he is an I consider him like a, a gotcha OG in the sense I've been I've watched a lot of his videos. Um, he plays a, like a lot of niche gotcha games, uh, not just like the big you know the big the big ones. And he's actually got me into playing a lot of gotcha games, <laughs> even though some of the games, you know, a lot of those games I just kind of stopped playing because they just became bad but you know I, I played a lot of games because you know just watching his reviews great videos i've always been a fan of his work um i was watching you know his late his latest video and he makes a lot of key points that um i really do agree with um you know they got to do you know 
we we want this game to succeed we want to see this game succeed so in order for us to see this game succeed we need to have it so that um we need to have it so that you know they they they, they do they do right by it basically just long story short they, they need to do right by the game um and i I, I highly recommend you take, you take a look at that video that he did. It's called like the "This is a massive. This is a this is massive for sort of convalaria." I think you should go ahead and take a look at that video. It's um really good. He he puts he puts, he he put he put a lot of work into that and a lot of uh, key points, and I agree with him, um, a hundred percent. But you know, like game, this is a game that I definitely want to see succeed. It brings back a lot of nostalgia feelings for me, which you know nostalgia is so important. Um, it brings back, it brings up a lot of, you know, just a difference in the, in the gotcha space. Strategy RPGs aren't really, you know, aren't really known. Well, not even, are not known. They aren't big. It's a, it's a niche, you know, you know, games like Ark Knights, that's a tower defense. Um, you have other, you know, you have other games and they're just not, they don't hit the, they don't hit the bell properly. And I feel like this game, it definitely does hit the bell. I feel like this game definitely does hit um, a lot of really good points that I think that everyone should take a look at and be a part of and be acknowledged about. Um, this game definitely should, and I hope it does succeed. I hope it does get a lot of um advertising hoping that a lot of people do play this game um i definitely do plan on playing it i plan on covering it um i definitely want to see it grow um with that being said you know what kind of content can you expect me to have um playing this game and what kind of content can you expect me to do well, for starters, I am going to be playing the game as a, you know, I'm going to try to play the game from a perspective of being a, a, uh, a low spender. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot on this game. What? How? How, Sway? I'm not going to spend, oh, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on this game, um, at all. Like, I'm only going to do the what's it called i'm only going to end up doing the oh lack of energy okay i'm only going to end up doing the um sorry my brain my brain my brain turned off for a second i was like what is going on here but uh yeah so i'm only i'm only going to be doing the the Sorry, my brain turned off again. I'm only going to be doing the battle pass. That's it. I'm only going to be spending on the battle pass. Uh, that's the only thing I'm really going to be spending money on. Um, if they do have one of those packages where, you know, you can drop like five bucks and you can get um, the Hope Luck site every day that you log in, I will also do that as well. Um, but I'm not going to be dropping on bundles unless there's like a character that I really want and I know I don't have enough hope luck site for. Um, but the content that I want to do is I want to do character reviews, but not on the sense of, oh, this is a really good character and you have to get this one. This character is game breaking and you have to get this character. I don't want to do that because I I don't like I don't like being a quote unquote meta player. I actually hate being a, you know, I don't, I don't like that kind of, that's not the content that I like to do. Um, the content that I like to do is stuff that is, that is played on a, the content I like to do is the content that's played as the average person, someone who's, you know, can, can play the game averagely. Um, I don't want to wail. I'm not going to wail. Um, I want to do content that is going to be very much close to home to other to, to, to people so then that, that way they can, you know, they can play the game and feel comfortable and say, hey, I like this character. I like this content. This other person likes this character and this content. And, you know, I, I, I feel close and akin to this person. That's the kind of 
that's the kind of uh, content that I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to go crazy on this. I'm just going to do what I normally do is battle passes. And, you know, if they have that little package, I'll do that package. Um, other than that, um, I'm probably going to do like whenever new characters are debuted and they come out, I'm going to do like a little quick review, um, talking about their skills, um, talking about where they can fit on team comps, uh, what kind of teams you're going to want them on. I will more likely do all of that. Um, I can't think of anything else really that, you know, I just want to make sure, damn, this is what I was talking about earlier. The AI sucks and you you really can't um <laughs> you really can't brute force shit. Uh <laughs> but yeah, I just you know, I just want to do down to earth whole, you know, wholesome content. Um content that you can be happy with, content that you can you can overall just be able to relate to. Um, I don't plan, like I said, I don't plan on whaling at all. Um, I might do, you know, depending on what kind of events, I'll give you like news and updates on events. Um, but at the end of the day, like I've said in a lot of my videos, I don't want to be the, you know, I don't want to be known as the sort of convalaria guy. You know, at the end of the day, I am a content creator. Um, I'm getting, well, I'm getting back into content creating. Um, but as a you know i do play other games i will be covering other games um but this will just be one of the games that i'm going to cover um it's just really that simple um but i will definitely give you guys the best content that i can for this game um i will definitely give you guys the best um a lot of the information for this game just for the way that i'm going to play and i will try to bring to you the information that is going to be beneficial towards you to play in this game um yeah so i just want to let you guys know my my, my final thoughts uh before clip before the beta ends i just wanted to let you guys know how i feel what's you know what i think is going to you know the future at the end of the day i want this game to succeed and a lot of other very good content creators want this game to succeed as well and i can't wait I cannot wait to see how this is going to play out. Um, I really hope to see you guys there. Um, you can always catch my uh, content here on the YouTube as well as twitch.tv forward slash evil played. And I'm sure I'll have it posted up in the video somewhere. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys later and you guys take care of yourselves. I'm going to be playing this a little bit while I wind down before I head off to my trip. I got to leave at like three o'clock in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I will hopefully see you guys then. Um, I will be, I'm going to be late on my Zen as own zero videos. So just give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be like a week late, but I'll try to record some content on my phone. So then that way I can, um, that way I can at least upload them when I get home. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Um, try out sort of combo later when it comes out July 31st. Um, when the game comes out July 31st, try the game. It's it's going to be a banger. It's going to be a, it's going to be a banger. And if the game gets advertised properly, if the game gets um, the, the the amount of views and the people, it's 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 it's, it's, it's it won't disappoint. It will not disappoint. Um, I, I, I believe wholeheartedly that this game will not disappoint. Uh, so yeah, you guys take care of yourselves. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.